Hi everybody, thank you for tuning in uh, to my channel. Uh, today I am uh, recording my Phoenix Real Estate Market Report for the month of April 2021 or 2022. So let's get started. The number of new listings decreased slightly from 10,700 listings in March to 10,095 listings in April or a decrease of 5.7%. Since March 2021, the number of new listings has hovered around 10,000 to 11,000 new listings, and we should see li new listings stay around this level for the summer buying season unless the raise in interest rates change that. Last year, we had a slightly higher number of new listings at 11,112 listings in April 2021. Although the number of new listings decreased, the number of active listings increased by 9.21% in April 2022 with 10,777 active listings in March to 11,770 active listings in April. Since the foreclosure moratorium ended last year on July 31st, 2021, we have not seen an increase in foreclosure inventory. Currently, the number of active foreclosures is 37 listings or 0.31% of the total active listings and we had 21 new foreclosure listings in April. In April, there were three short sale listings, which is 0.03% of the total market. The number of sold transactions decreased by 8.8% in April from 10,189 transactions in March to 9,296 transactions in April. The market continues to be a seller's market due to the low inventory of homes for sale, but this may stay this may start to change in 2022 since the Federal Reserve is planning multiple interest rate hikes this year where they raise the rate a half point or 50 basis points a few days ago on May 4th. Higher interest rates will make it more difficult for buyers to purchase and could bring down market values with an increasing number of homes for sale. The average days on market started a downward trend since February 2019 at 72 days on market and has consistently been in a downtrend to the current days on market in April at 27 days on market. <coughs> Overall, the last two years, the average days on market increased during the holiday months but decreased during the summer months. This is indicative of a hot market or competitive market. The Phoenix housing market ended 2021 exceeding the national average with an overall annual appreciation rate of approximately 19.6% from 443000 to 530000 Since the beginning of the year, the average sold price continues to increase and is currently at 591000 or an increase of 8.6%. The sale to original list price increased in March to... 102.2% or accepted price of 0.2 or 2.2% above the original asking price. The original, the average sale to current list price increased to the same 102.2% or accepted price of 2.2% above current asking price. This means buyers are offering a purchase price over asking price. Since January 2019, the months of inventory has hovered around 1.5 months on market, where it has fluctuated slightly with the lowest at 0.9 and the highest at 2.31 months. In April, the months of inventory increased slightly to 1.27 months from 1.07 months in March. Since the number of active listings increased, the number of months of inventory also increased. Overall, the Phoenix real estate market remains competitive. But this may change if the Federal Reserve continues to raise interest rates. If you own a home and you need or are thinking about selling, now is the best time to put the, your home on the market before the market changes. When the number of homes for sale increase, we may see a price decrease or it may be more difficult to get your desired price. I can provide you with a detailed free market, a comparable market analysis for your home or investment property. If you are planning to purchase a new home, now is the la now is your last chance before raising interest rates to price you out of the market. Remember, make your offer above the asking price to get your offer accepted and to be competitive with other buyers. Give us a call if you're thinking about buying or selling.
please feel free please feel free to give me a call if you have any questions or concerns about if you should buy or sell this year thank you for watching my video